It's another landmark. Bahrain is well on the map once again, as it hosts the third International Aeronautical Federation World Cup, known among flyers as the FAI. The venue, Gravity in Zalak. Not yet an Olympic feature, but heading that way. Indoor skydiving is one of the world's fastest growing sports, and athletes from 27 countries have descended on Bahrain to take part in this rather thrilling, and to say the least, somewhat graceful sport. With $200,000 up for grabs, it is a big incentive, and it's split among winning categories. A sporting village atmosphere and facilities have been created, and there's a serious buzz of excitement permeating the place. Attending the opening ceremony were several members of the royal family, with Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Mr. Iron Man winner himself, His Royal Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his brother Sheikh Khalid. Front row, and also very much part of the proceedings, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa and his son Sheikh Mohammed, the chairman of Gravity, along with his brother Sheikh Abdullah. Together with the staff, they have worked diligently since the facility opened to make this happen in Bahrain. In this, the third World Cup, the categories are Freestyle, Dynamic Two-Way, Dynamic Four-Way, Four-Way Freestyle, and Four-Way Vertical Freestyle. It all makes a lot of sense to the judges, and the competitiveness is very apparent. But the bond between flyers is evident, and the overall atmosphere, one of tremendous friendship. So how do they judge these flyers? I am Doris Mertz, and I am the Vice President of the IPC, that's the International Parachuting Competition and we are under the roof of the FIA. 
The judging is, we have here a, a panel of five judges and they are looking the same uh, flight from the teams and we are deciding if they fly the points correctly as they are shown in the dive pool and for each correct formation they get one point and at the end the winner is the one with the most points. There are very many strong teams and we have of course the world champion here from last year and that is Hayabusa from Belgium. We have other teams that are very strong but some teams are just rebuilding themselves and so we don't really know what to expect. So the most important thing is that the best are winning. I'm very excited and this tunnel here is very wide and it's very competitors friendly and it's very friendly for the media and the, the spectators. So it's uh, great to have the competition here. We are very much interested in becoming Olympic, especially with the indoor. It's very public friendly and uh, we are actually aiming for, for the Olympics. That's absolutely for sure. There are not so many of these facilities in the world and Bahrain is not the world's biggest tunnel, as it's called, but it is one of the best apparently. Apparently, well, it's transparent and it's sought after by flyers from far afield as a must try. It's it's still very new, yeah, and there's a bunch of countries in the world that haven't even seen this, yeah, like like a big country like India. There's none, no no one wind tunnel at all, yeah. Uh, many more as well, yeah, in Africa only. When we built it, it was 2015. It was the thought, absolutely the best tunnel in the world. Yeah, if you look to the performance, if you look to the transparency of the glass, if you look the uh, visual appearance, you know that 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 was totally the best. Yeah, today it, it's still the one of the best. Yeah, but uh, some other uh, tunnel in France, it's now a little bit taller yeah, as this. Yeah. Actually, the biggest one so far is uh, the one we built last year, a year ago, for Tom Cruise. He was using it for uh, to shoot the the, the, uh, the latest movie, uh, which is Mission Impossible 6. So that's the biggest today. Actually, that's the biggest machine in, in the whole industry. Uh, for him, uh, he needed to have the machine to shoot his uh, movie. So not, no no glass around. The, the, the sport is uh, growing exponentially, and, and I started this business 12 years ago, and it was barely a few performers in the world. It was like maybe 10 tunnels before I started. Yeah? And uh, actually, I was the one of the performer, original one. Yeah? Uh, I'm probably one of the few performers who ever performed in Olympic Games, because uh, we actually started our business with a huge performance in a closing ceremony of Torino Winter Olympics. Yeah? And uh, I'm the first guy to fly on a snowboard, yeah, in a wind tunnel. So that's my personal story. It's it all started with a French Canadian engineer, which is uh, Jean Saint Germain, and he is uh, inventor of multiple interesting stuff, yeah. And back in 1979, he built the first machine to 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 levitate people like this, yeah. And, and he was the first, and uh, I, he's not anymore with us, yeah, so I cannot ask anymore uh, how the idea came to his mind. But my involvement uh, was uh, some years later, I, I joined the Aerodium team at uh, 2005. The, the industry is growing quite fast, yeah, and, and uh, when I started, I, I told you it was like maybe 10 tunnels in the world. Today there is more than 200 already. Yeah. Out of 200, my company has built 50, so it's 25% of the world uh, wind tunnels are built by my company. What we are doing, we are we are selling technology only. So uh, the building is not pa not our part of the scope. It's, most of the time, it's not my ambition. It's it's ambition of customers. Yeah. And, and when when I met the 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 customer of this tunnel, yeah, he was also a very ambitious guy. You know, he he developed some new new features, which was the back then it was the first in the world, like like big jumping here. Yeah. That that was a unique idea of the. Uh, the customers here yeah? and then he said okay I want an office on the top of the building and I want to jump from the office straight in the wind tunnel and we said okay let's figure out and we developed that for him and it, it became the first one fans even for this machine we do have four fans each of them are 400 kilovolts it's, these are not run by jet engines actually they are run by electric engines which are built uh, uh, as, as big fans yeah? they're, they're moving air uh, in these particular machines, I think the record is like 10 people in the same time, 10 or 11. But it's not a goal to, to make more people inside. Yeah? The goal is to, to make a more artistic move. For Who Does What TV at Gravity Bahrain for the opening ceremony of the third FAI World Cup.